Hey guys, this is Jake. I'm going to show you how to make voiceover audio sound full and loud enough for comfort. So, if you've ever done a voiceover video, you've probably noticed how the volume in your voice fluctuates a lot. There's some quiet parts, there's some loud parts. You can kind of normalize all of that by using a compressor. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Sony Vegas and Audacity. So, I have a test clip here in Sony Vegas, and we're going to go ahead and play that and see what that sounds like. Test, test, test. It's a little quiet, but here's how you can apply a compressor to it to make it sound fuller and louder. So, you can apply a compressor through Sony Vegas or other similar video editing software, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to just export this video's audio. So first I'm going to delete the extra track that I don't need. And then I'm going to go to File, Render, As, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Microsoft Wave. And you can choose anything with the equal sign over on the left hand side. So I'm going to render that to my desktop as Untitled Wave. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag that into Audacity. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now you can see the waveforms in Audacity. You can see that they're very small, they're, they're very low. So what we can do is we can select both tracks, the stereo tracks, and then we can go to Effect and then go to Compressor. Now the default compressor settings are what you see here. I find that the default works really well. Uh, if you don't want to amplify the background noise as much, you can turn up this threshold to be less, uh, but I'm going to leave it at negative 12, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And so that's going to apply the compressor to the audio and make it louder. So you can see the change in the waveforms. So let's go ahead and just export that audio. You can go ahead and preview it through Audacity, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to sound OK. And so I've overwritten my old untitled. So what I can do is I can go back into Sony Vegas, delete that track, OK? And then I'm going to go ahead and drag my untitled.wave back into here, the one that we applied the compression to, and match it up with the track. Then I'm going to select both tracks and press G, and that's going to group them. So now they're grouped together just like a normal audio and video track would be. So now I'm going to go ahead and play it, and we'll see what it sounds like. Test, test, test. You can see that that's a lot louder. Now, I had a lot of background noise in that, and that's where the threshold comes in. You can turn that threshold value up to, keep, to amplify less of the background noise. Well, I hope that helps you guys. I hope that helps in your voiceover videos and your gameplay videos. Uh, it does make your voice sound better. The only problem is that this only really works if you have a decent quality mic and you don't have a whole lot of background noise. Uh, but if you have a quiet environment and have a decent mic, it's going to make your videos stand out a lot more. It's going to make them sound more professional. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped. And until next time, see you later.